Hello and welcome to tip and trick number AME001 titled Adjusting Duck Takeoff Position. The purpose of this tip and trick is to enhance your skills and share with you solutions to problems that other users experience. Our tips and tricks are created from the top 30 support calls logged with our support desk. If you require more information on our support desk then please contact Custom Services on 01784 419911 or email customer.services at cadline.co.uk. All our tips and tricks can be found on our website www.cadline.co.uk. Please remember that we're issuing tips and tricks for all the desk products as well as you want about your watch. Okay, let's get started. What we're going to do in this session is we're going to look at adding some duct takeoffs onto some existing duct work. Now, probably the easiest way to do that in MEP is to click on the duct and then use the plus icon to add some more duct off there. So I'm just going to add some more duct branch off this existing run here. Just reduce the size down to 200 square. And then just position the, the takeoff wherever you need it. So there you go. Put that one in there nice and easy. Now this is all well and good, but it only allows you to actually adjust this duct along the length of the existing run. It doesn't actually allow you to adjust it vertically. Now that's the case in a lot of installations where the, the duct takeoff is actually not dead centered vertically on the duct. What we need to do to get around this is take off that piece of duct that we just put on and we need to do it manually. So as opposed to doing the automatic routing, we can actually put a takeoff on manually from the pallet here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for the MEP snap and then just snap this takeoff onto there. So what I can do first is just adjust the airflow just the direction of the, of the shoe and then what we can also do is just have a look at the size now we put a 200 square on previously so we might as well keep the size the same we're just using the properties there just to change the width and the height of this shoe here now while we've got the shoe selected what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and then go to the duct fitting properties once in the duct fitting properties because we've added this shoe on manually gives us this option here for take off position now what we need to do is just have a look at the side so depending on which side you've actually drawn the, the, the shoe on depends on what size you, you choose here so we're going to choose right hand side so through the duct left to right so this is on, on the right hand side of the duct and then the justification top central bottom in this case I'm going to actually justify it to the bottom of the duct and I'm going to give it an offset of 25mm which is going to raise this duct branch off 25mm from the bottom of the main run once that's done, I'm just going to click OK and then have a look in the front view and you can see now our duct takeoff is 25mm from the bottom of the duct. Going back to plan view, what we can now do now that this takeoff is in the right position is we can create copies. As many as we need and obviously once that's in there we can now create our duct from the shoe. And that's it. I hope this uh, tip and trick has helped. And uh, good luck with using MEP. Thank you.